Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHex.com sponsored video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Transformers Studio Series 86, Rekgar. And this decal set includes five decal sheets on a combination of foil and vinyl backing. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Rekgar, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Rekgar looks great and very faithful to his appearance in Transformers the movie. Now, Rekgar features lots of collaring, but there's not really a lot of paint applications. Most of his collars are just the color of the plastic. But man, he looks so good. I love all the sculpted details on this figure. He was actually one of my top five figures for 2021. Now, taking a closer look at the figure, he does have some great paint applications here on the head, though, with the faux windshield on top of the head, the red there in the center, the yellow pinstriping on the side, the eyes. I think those are molded plastic instead of paint, but man, they look good and love the mustache and little goatee. Moving on down the chest area, all sculpted details that look really, really good. Got some paint applications right there above the bicep and down here on the forearms. More paint applications here on the wheels because I do believe these studs are all painted red. And yes, that proves it right there. Got a little bit scratched off. Moving on down to the legs, more great sculpted details on collared plastic until you get down here to the feet, I believe. Those are paint applications right there. I could be wrong. Usually I can tell, but they pulled this off on Rekgar really good. And of course, you got the tire here with the more painted studs. So there you go, guys. Rekgar in robot mode before. And after. Rekgar's robot mode gets a very G1-inspired look thanks to toy hacks. And the first decals you're probably noticing are the new chrome decals for the stomach area. And I love that. That is just like the Generation 1 figure with all that glorious chrome. Now, taking a closer look at the head, he also gets new decal right there in the forehead, new eye decals, a 456 that I'll go over later in vehicle mode, chrome decals there on the shoulders, yellow headlight decals right there below the chest, which is also reminiscent of G1 Rekgar. New red decals right there. Moving on down to the waist. Red decals there, there, and there. New decals here on the saddlebags. Moving down to the legs, we also get more G1-inspired decals on the upper thighs, down here on the knees, and new red decals there on the toes. For the forearms, you get new decals right here that carry over this gray. This top section of gray is what the figure came with out of the box. Then you get this new decal right here that extends the gray all the way around, and that's on both sides of the arms. So there you go, guys. There is Rekgar in robot mode after. In motorcycle mode, straight out of the packaging, Rekgar features a lot more detail than he did in robot mode. Taking a closer look at the vehicle, we've got great paint applications right here on the front with the little gold swooshes. We got a clear windshield right here that unfortunately shows Rekgar's head. We got red right in there for the headlight. The wheels, you can see a lot better in motorcycle mode, I think, with the red studs and the yellow rims. Got the details from the arms that carry over for the front of the bike. 
Right here, this is the cool stuff. We got flame decals on either side of the gas tank and silver details right down there for the engine. I love that. Very reminiscent of G1. More molded details all along the back of the bike. We got the saddlebags right there with more great sculpted details. Back of the bike, we got the other wheel. So motorcycle mode looks really good, but I cannot wait to see what Toy Hacks does for it. So there you go, guys. Retgar in motorcycle mode before. And after. Retgar's motorcycle mode looks absolutely stunning now, thanks to Toy Hacks. And the first decal you're probably noticing is the new windshield decal. It's got this nice blue shade that looks very cartoony, and that's what I usually like with my Transformers as far as the windows is concerned. And what I really like about it, it hides the robot head. So I dig that. Looks really cool. Plus, on the inside, if I can get the camera to show, there are chrome decals. So a really cool look for the windshield. Also gets an Easy Rider bumper sticker right there, which of course is a callback to the 1969 Peter Fonda and Dennis Hopper motorcycle flick. Retgar also gets new red rims, and that's a throwback to the G1 figure that had red rims. New chrome flame decals that look amazing. And that, of course, is also a throwback to the G1 toy. New chrome decals right here on the sides. Silver decals right there in that circle. Chrome decals right there. Right here, I really like that. He's got uh, saddlebag details, and that looks awesome. He's got the leather straps and everything. Gray decals right here for the seat. Back of the vehicle, we've got tail lights, a vanity license plate that says Retgar. You actually have a couple different options for vanity plates, and an As Seen on TV sticker right there. And let's see, we also have a 456 decal and the only thing i can think of that 456 is maybe a shout out to the squid game maybe retgar was a fan now moving back here with this as seen on tv here is an awesome easter egg that toy hacks put into retgar's decals if you open up the saddlebag and inside you've got some as seen on tv products now i didn't put the decal in on this one so I could give you guys a closer look, but check this out. We've got a Slap Chop, Flex Tape, Dr. Squatch Soap, a, a Shake Weight, and I'm not sure what this and this is. It looks like tin foil, and I'm really not sure what the... Oh, wait, wait. That's Rick and Morty. What, what's that? The Florbus? Oh, my gosh. I love these little Easter eggs. Good job, Toy Hacks but still not sure what the tin foil is. So there you go, guys. There is Retgar in motorcycle mode after. Toy Hacks once again went above and beyond with their decal set for Studio Series 86 Retgar. I absolutely love the Generation 1 throwbacks, especially the chrome abs, and the as seen on TV Easter eggs were hilarious. Now, a couple decals I forgot to show off is here on the axe. He does get new decals for the tips of the blades and a new decal right there that covers up the chrome pin. And speaking of weapons, go to the Toy Hacks Armory and get yourself a Retgar rifle to really make your Retgar stand out. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I do offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I got to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members. It's support like yours that helps keep this channel growing. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah! Uh -huh.